Yo, what's going on guys? This is Ice Ice here, and welcome back to another video. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I get my Fortnite settings on AimLab. So today I'm making a quick little tutorial to help you guys out with that. So all you do, oops. So all you do, you go down here to settings once you're inside the game. Um, usually actually there's like a startup menu, like usually when you first download the game, it like a whole settings optimization like menu pops up for you before you do anything at all. But um, once you have memory in the game, I guess that doesn't pop up anymore. I tried to uninstall the game and everything, but it doesn't come up for me anymore. But uh, all you have to do once you're in the game, I don't know if you guys see my mouse, you go to the bottom right, settings over here, click that, and then here you go scroll down to controls. And your side menus over here, the left side, you hit down to controls. Here, it's gonna be game profile and your game settings. You can go down and scroll and find Fortnite. There's a ton of games here no matter what you play. So this can basically help you with like any, any game, you, any shooting game you play, honestly. It even has like, uh, Dome in here, Destiny is in here. But yeah, guys, it has like a bunch of games in there. All this does is brings over the Fortnite in game units over to AimLab because every game has like different sensitivities and stuff like that. Here, your X and Y. Obviously, I have mine are 54. Field of view, don't change that. That inputs 80 automatically. The ADS sense is really wonky, honestly. I'm not really sure if. Actually, it might be correct. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like how slow it is. There's not really too many maps that I use where I ADS in aim lab, so I don't really use the ADS too much, but I definitely suggest that you play around with that to find your ADS. If anybody else finds problems with their ADS sense, let me know down in the comments below. I'm just curious. But yeah, everything else should be pretty much the same. You could change your dead zone here at the bottom. I changed my note to the lowest, which is five. You could go even lower than five, but I wouldn't suggest you go any lower because you will definitely get drift no matter how like new your controller is if you have any lower than five. Um, I change it to linear, raw input. Uh, yeah, boys, that's how you find your settings. That's how you find your settings no matter what game you play. It could be Fortnite, it could be Apex, whatever the case may be. If you guys have any other further questions, let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to answer all of your questions, boys. Love you guys. You guys have a beautiful day. Peace.